the 24th of January of the new year 2023, Southwest Texas experienced a steady stream of rainfall. For most of the day, rain fell from the dark stretch of storm clouds blanketing the skies. For hours, this continued until the arrival of a strong cold front from the north, bringing with it an absolute downpour of water. When the long band of rain passed, and the clouds seemingly racing across the sky, it became clear that inches of rain had just amassed atop the streets. When this happens, rainwater flows along concrete pathways, all leading to discrete drains, and these themselves lead straight into neighborhood lakes and ponds. And as an urban fisherman, I know this could only mean one thing. But considering how long it has been since this area has seen rain like this in such a short period of time, I would later come to realize that today would become just one of those days where urban monsters come out to play. All right. Okay, now we're, oh my God. Okay, okay, I just saw a fish right at the opening of this thing. This usually provides after a big storm. And I did just see a, a, a nice sized fish come up to the surface. And look at all this water rushing out of here. There we go. It's small. It's a bluegill. <laughs> Got a bluegill on that. It's a pretty decent sized one too. Man, he really got that in his mouth. How'd you do that? I'm impressed. All right. Decent sized bluegill. Not what I'm going for, but I'll take it. Try that again. Right under me. There we go. That's more like it. All right. Come here. Ugh. Decent little bass. Ah, very skinny though. It's time to gorge up, man. It's about to get really cold. See ya. Oh God. Oh God, that felt like I hooked a rock. Oh. Guys, look at this monster of a crappie, holy sh Oh, I'm gonna drag him. <laughs> oh my god. Holy <laughs> Oh, that is my PB. That is my personal best crappie right there. Holy crap. What a beast. <laughs> Check out this Ugh. monster of a crappie. Holy crap. That is a beast. <laughs> Easily the biggest crappie I've ever caught. Wow. Working that uh, that craw TRD right on the bottom, bouncing it slowly, at least trying to bounce it slowly off the bottom. And there's a lot of water coming through there. And <laughs> I was going for a big bass, but you know, I'll take a big ass crappie too. Holy crap. That is bad ass. All right, we're gonna let this guy go right back to where we caught him. Here you go, man. Thank you very much for that fight. Oh, you are free to go. Yep, there he goes. Wow. Let's see if we can do that again. I'm trying to go for a really big bass, so yeah, 
Let's see what happens. I was reeling it in. Oh. Oh. There we go. It's another crappie. It's another nice crappie. Oh. Holy crap. Oh, not as big as that first one, but it's pretty nice. Oh. God. It's another absolute slab. Nice. Certainly looking like we got a bunch of crappie hidden out in that set of bass. I might want to put a crappie jig on if this keeps happening to see if uh, that changes anything. But man, oh man. These guys are a lot of fun. There you go, buddy. Off he goes. And for anybody who's wondering, the bait I'm using is this Z-Man TRD Craw on a, I believe this is an eighth ounce, uh, also Z-Man Ned Jig head. And I'm just slowly bouncing it off the bottom, letting it sink, sit there for about half a second to a second, and then bump it back up, let it sit. These claws kind of jiggle in the water. It looks pretty good. It's good action in the water. There we go again. Oh my God, that feels like a rock again. Oh, that's gotta be a bass. Oh, that's gotta be a bass. Oh, there's weight on this. Oh, he's staying down, he's staying down, he's staying down. And he's taking line, he's taking line. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Here we go, this is what I was looking for. Uh, tighten that down just a little, oh my God. Maybe I got a big catfish. Oh, look at that boil. Look at that boil at the surface. Oh my God. Come here. I gotta at least see what this is. He's staying down. It's made me think this, <laughs> that it's definitely a catfish. Oh my God, guys, there's a huge bass. Oh my God, this bass is huge. Holy, oh my God. Oh my Oh my god! Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's the elder of the lake! Oh my god! Oh! Look at that guy! Holy sh! Holy sh! Guys, oh my god! Oh god! Oh, holy crap. This guy is a mammoth. This guy's a mammoth. He could weigh so much more. His belly's a little flat, but this guy could have easily been a good 10 pound bass. Oh my God. Right now he feels like a solid eight. Oh, oh my God. Guys, drains, man, after a big rainfall. They, they just hold them. This is crazy. This is exactly what I was coming out here for. This is absolutely insane. Look at that big ass mouth on him. Oh my God. Okay, this guy is elderly. He's obviously old, so let's get him in the water. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> all right, thank you for that fight, my man. Go ahead, my sir. Come on. There is nothing quite like catching a bass that is that old. The eyes are just starting to get clouded up. You can tell it's lived a very long life. That was a healthy bass too. Oh my God. I'm telling you, drains after a big rainfall. You gotta get after, like right now, it today it started out about 80 degrees. It was nice and warm. But right now it is like in the low 40s. My hands are starting to get really numb, but 
and it's windy and it was wet up till about 10 15 minutes ago but you just got to deal with it get out there fish you never know what you might get you might get the biggest crop you ever caught and one of the biggest bass you've ever caught all in the same trip oh, just get out there one of the most interesting things about this drain is that while it's cold here and the water generally is pretty chilly the air and the water coming out of here is so much warmer than everything else out here and i can just tell that this holds fish during the winter but only after a big rainfall because you need this water flow coming out of here for it to be worth it because once it's stagnant then all that cold water starts making its way in here and then it doesn't make a difference but when a big rainfall happens it's just warm air and water coming straight out of here and they hole up and they stay in here until it starts getting cold again <sighs> oh my god that feels heavy again but not as heavy. Yep. Oh, that's a good bass, though. Whoo! That's a solid bass. I sure hope you didn't swallow that. It's pretty far down there. Oh, oh man. Okay, we're gonna see if we can do this. He didn't quite swallow it all the way, but just to be safe, we're gonna get pliers. And there we go, got it. Okay, since that took a while, I'm just gonna get him right back in. <sighs> but good bass. There you go, so perfect. Smaller. Yep. Still fun to catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You show me who's boss. Ah. There we go. Pretty, pretty bass. Back in you go. Yeah. 
<laughs> Guys, I don't do a lot of freshwater fishing, so whenever I catch a crappie this size, it always excites me. These are about the biggest I get around here, so <laughs> catching them one after another is just, oh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you for that. You are free to go. Bon voyage. So for that last crappie, I switched over to this Bass Pro Shops Crappie Max jig, and this has always been one of my favorites right here. This always catches fish for me, and it's on a 16th ounce Crappie Max jig head as well. Oh, God, that feels like a rock. Oh. Yep. Oh, my God. Look at that guy. Oh, my God. Oh. oh another slab. And I kind of lost count as to how many I've been catching already. <laughs> Look how pretty these fish are, too. Right up against that sunlight. Like, I hope my camera's catching it really well. Wow. Absolutely stellar fishing today. <clears throat> Thank you for that. Until we meet again. There you go again. Ah, oh, little baby bass. Little baby bass. Well, I guess he's not a little baby, but little nonetheless. There we go. Quick look you do. Very tiny. Your head's bigger than your body. And Goodbye. <laughs> okay guys i can stand here and catch great fish for the rest of the day there's only about an hour left of daylight right now but there was one spot i wanted to go to before the end of the day and try my luck there and you might recognize it. it's been in one of my old videos just like this spot right here so let's go over there and see what happened in my favorite golf course lake see you there all right, here I am at my favorite golf course lake to fish. There used to be a pipe right there. Now it's completely underwater. So let's see. Maybe there's something hiding in front of it. All right, my honey hole was providing nothing, not a bite, no nothing. So I'm actually gonna try over here at this other drain it's typically a little too shallow for most fish to be here but with all this rainwater maybe maybe they're sitting in front of it There we go. You can see them swirl up and all that bait freak out. Sweet. It's a decent bass. That is a decent bass. Oh, but man, he's, he's looking rough. Oh, that's a rough looking bass. Let's see if I can get a handle on him. You guys gotta check this guy out. Oh my god. He looks like he's been through the ringer a little bit. Oh, wow. But look at that. Oh my god, dude. What's going on? You got it on your tail? Right here? A whole bunch on your back. What is this, guys? Do y'all have any idea what this might be? You get like pecked at or something? Wow. That's a decent bass. That's a two, at least, between two and three. 
Oh, very cool. Awesome, man. That is a, despite all these wounds he's got on him, he's a clean looking bass. Wow. Oh, all right. That's probably going to be it for me. Sun's going down. I barely got any sunlight left. I'm happy I could at least catch one more. One more after all this rain we just got. Thanks, buddy. There he goes. And that would have been the last one. But Mother Nature had one more surprise up her sleeve. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels really good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I've got a log again. Oh my god. You guys seen the rod tip? Straight bow. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Did I catch the lake monster again? Or is this a big ass cat? All right, let's see you. Let's see you. Oh, he's staying down. He's staying down. Oh, come on up. Oh my God, this guy is staying down. Oh my God. He will come up. He's coming up. Oh, holy guys. Oh my god! What in the hell do I have? What do I have? What the hell is this? This thing looks like a monster! That's not a bass! That's not a bass! What did I just hook? What the hell is this thing? It is a Harvey. I gotta be careful. This is 10 pound drag. I never thought I would ever have to say that. Oh my god, guys, is that a flathead? Is that a flathead? I have never in my life caught a flathead like this. Oh. Oh my god, this thing is. Oh my god, look at this thing. Oh my god. Oh. My. God. That's a flathead, I think. I think that's a flathead. Oh my god. I don't have my grips with me. I do not have my grips with me. I never thought I'd catch something like this. Holy shit. Holy shit. Stay hooked. Oh, he's hooked pretty good. Let's see if I can get him. I'm very, very, very worried about this. <clears throat> oh, oh my god, oh my god, I got him, I got him, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> this guy guzzled the bait too, oh my god, holy crap. Holy crap, let's get this bait out real quick. Literally gotta stick my fingers in to get this. Oh, and there we go. Oh my God. This is, this is what's in here. I have seen something huge in these waters and this, this is it. Oh my God. <laughs> God. Guys, oh, oh my god, look at this guy, oh my god, I have never, I've caught only a couple flatheads and they're only over like 10 inches, holy crap, this guy is a monster, to me at least, I don't know how big these guys actually get. I have never caught one of these in here. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> but these are in here. I can't believe it. What a fight that was! Guys, you gotta go out and fish these neighborhood lakes. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. 
There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> and just like that. Wow. He was ready to go. Oh, my god. What a hell of a last catch to make. <sighs> Unbelievable. Un Unbelievable. I, I'm still I'm still reeling from that. Incredible. With a drastic drop in temperature and a hefty dose of heavy rainfall, your local lakes and ponds can become a hotbed for some memorable fishing. Who knows what other urban monsters lurk in your neighborhood, but it is certain that they lie in wait for their next meal. But will that be your favorite jig enticing them to bite? Only by going out and giving it your best cast will you ever find it out. Everyone, I just want to say thank you for the views, the comments, and the subscriptions. This is a fun little hobby of mine, and it warms my heart knowing there are others that enjoy the content I create. This trip was a deeply memorable one, and because of that, I put forth a little more effort into being creative with the footage I had. This all takes many hours to do, so I sincerely hope that you, the viewer, enjoyed it as much as I did making this. I have many more videos to work on, next probably being Trip 3 to the San Bernard River. Once again, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I do respond to comments, so feel free to leave one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.